Hey, this is Scott, and today I'm going to show you how to wirelessly tether your Canon camera with Capture One Pro. Of course, you need a camera with the ability to connect over Wi-Fi. I'm using the 5D Mark IV, but any Wi-Fi enabled camera from Canon should be more or less the same. As a warning, this is not the fastest workflow, but it will work. So first, to get your camera connected to your computer through EOS Utility, just go to your Communication Settings, choose Built-in Wireless, enable your Wi-Fi, then choose your Wi-Fi function, you're going to choose Remote Control, EOS Utility, and I'm going to set up a new easy connection because you can do that even without an existing Wi-Fi network. Now you're going to click OK, and it will give you an SSID and an encryption key. Once you've done that, go over to your wireless settings on your computer and click on the name that it gives you in the SSID. Then you want to enter the encryption key as the password. Once you do that, the camera will prompt you to start pairing the devices, so click OK and it will tell you to start EOS Utility on your computer. Once we open EOS Utility, choose Pairing over Wi-Fi and connect to your camera. You'll get a prompt on your camera to connect to your PC, so click OK, and you should be good. EOS Utility will open up on your computer, but before we take any pictures, we want to go ahead and set up a session in Capture One. I'm going to start a new session and just call this Tether Test. Now that you have the session created, you want to go back to EOS Utility and choose this little folder towards the top. Where it says Destination Folder, you want to browse and find, wherever you have it stored, the Capture folder from your Capture One session that you just created. In Capture One, make sure that you have the Capture folder selected and you are ready to start taking pictures. So let's take a picture. This isn't going to be a special picture, it's just blank just to show you how this works. You can see it loading in EOS Utility, and once you take the first picture, it will probably open up in Digital Photo Professional. You can either just minimize that, or you can go back to EOS Utility and go down to the Preferences at the bottom, choose your linked software, and then click None. You can also link Capture One directly here, and your images will open up from anywhere you choose to save them, but I find it easier to do it the other way for organization's sake. So now let's close Digital Photo Professional and close this. And let's try and take one more photo. And now it should not open up in Digital Photo Professional. Instead, if you look in the background, you'll see that as it's imported, it should automatically be added to our Capture One session. Another way to do this would be to browse through your system folders in Capture One, find the folder you save your images to in EOS Utility, and set that as your Capture folder. But again, I like Capture One for the session style organization, so I choose not to use that method. So again, this does take a little while to work, so it isn't the fastest workflow, but I made a video a while back about how to do this with Lightroom, so I thought that I'd update that with Capture One, since that's what I use more often. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below, and I'll be happy to get back to you. If you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to see more in the future, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications when I upload new content. As always, thank you for watching.